Alright, this is Dayton from 4 Hands Productions, and in my third tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a advanced stroke effect kind of thing using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. Now, this is going to be a long one, and it's a lot more difficult than my previous two tutorials, so let's get started to uh, see if I can get this in one video. Alright, so in Adobe Illustrator, make a new project and select the text tool and just type some. I'm going to type my name. Now for the type, this is important. It has to be an open type font. right? I personally am using Bickham Script Pro uh, which I'll sh show you why right now. Make this nice and big. Make sure it doesn't exceed the lines on the edges of your project. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. But there's my favorite part is you can change the letters in Bickham Script Pro. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, if you're using Bickham or a similar font, uh, in Illustrator, there is something called the Glyphs panel, which lets you change letters, like so. Uh, if you don't have that, go to Window, Type, Glyphs. Again, that's Window, Type, Glyphs. Alright, so now you can basically just change all the letters here. Kind of made my little bigger there. Make sure it fits inside these lines, like I said before. Otherwise, in Adobe After Effects, it will get cut off, and that doesn't look good. So now we will just now to get the alternate layers. Instead of searching through the whole entire thing, uh, go to Show, and at the very top, it's Alternates for Current Selection. Select that, and that'll let you, uh, if you double click, uh, just kind of look through the options. Um, yeah. So you kind of look through here. Now you want them to connect, it looks a lot better that way. Uh, if it was possible, I'd get the D to connect, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So we get all this. Make sure they just all connect. And just keep it s size. Alright. Now that you got this nice looking title here, you're going to go to Type and create outlines. This will create all the masks that masks that you will need. So now if you copy that, 